Millie is taking a nap. The sun is shining into my living room. I am just warming up because I've been a little chilly. So it feels kind of good to sit here in the sun, even though the dough is not rising very well. So we'll see how well that dough rises. I've been staring at these boxes for several days now. Hey, you. You know that feeling of it being your birthday and you have to wait till evening to open up presents mm -hmm. and it's such a long anticipation? And anyway, is that how you feel with those boxes right there? They've been sitting, did you tell them they've been sitting there for a couple of days? Yeah. Do you have chocolate chips in your hand? Mm -hmm. Gosh darn it, you. That's my treat. No! Uh, Just a little schoolboy. <laughs> That's what Landon says when he doesn't want to get into trouble <laughs> by me. He says, I'm just a little schoolboy. <laughs> And it works every time. But no, he goes downstairs into the food storage room, opens up the bag of chocolate chips and eats them, but then the kids get into them and I go downstairs and there's chocolate chips all over the cement floor and I know bugs love chocolate. Anyway, it drives me crazy. And then, and then I go to make chocolate chip cookies and there's no chocolate chips because he ate them all. We just gotta keep them stocked up, it's all good. <laughs> We just posted a video about Landon taking his last exam ever, and I guess we didn't really talk a whole lot about what's next. What are we doing next? Well, yeah, so next is a dissertation project, well, no, right? Is that what you're talking no. about? No, that's a whole nother conversation. Dissertation motion. Okay, yes. Maybe I don't know these terminology. Okay. He's not done with school, basically. No. <laughs> he's still doing research up there. He needs to finish what he said, a dissertation project. Yes. Yeah, and so what are some projects. of the things that you guys are studying? Yeah, so we're studying fasting for the most part, right? But another thing that they're doing up, up like in oh. his area, uh, is cold therapy. Hot and cold therapy. Hot and cold therapy. And it yeah, seems, so it seems like there's a lot of similar benefits of exercise with heat and cold, right? So like heat and cold therapy can have a lot of same benefits as exercise. And there's some people who can't exercise, they have physical limitations or whatever. So we're trying to see if we can mimic some of those in our, in our research, so yes. Which leads us to these boxes. So this company, it's not a sponsored video, but they did send these to Landon to trial out and see what we think of them. We might be able to potentially use this in our research too. We're gonna crack it open, Woo! this is a cold tub, a cold plunge tub. So this is from Edge Theory Labs and they have these tubs, I'll show you, they're inflatable and portable and a pump that filters and cools or heats your water. So we're excited to put it to use and give it a try. You're a school boy, you're a farm boy, what else are you? Just a little jack of all trades. You wanna help me start it? I don't know if Julie told you or not, but I actually spent the day with these kiddos at their school. We had a fun day today, didn't we? Yep. Did you like my announcement on the intercom? Yeah. You didn't say watchdog. Right I said, there. yeah, I'm Landon. I'm a watchdog today. No, you said watchdog, not watchdog. Well, yeah, because that's what it's called. So I said, I'm the dad for the excellent Emma, the cool Cooper, the pretty awesome Porter, and the lovely Lucy. Yeah. Did you think that was pretty fun? That was, it was pretty fun. fun. Yeah. It was the amazing yoga. <laughs> Emma's not crossing it's over the border to our yard. She doesn't want to step foot over here. Come on, Emma. I got a surprise for you guys in the backyard. Come here. Come on back. It's a fire. What is this for? It's a cozy fire because it's cold outside. Look, this is what you do if you need more fire. You need oxygen for fire, right? So you blow it in there. Now we're cooking. One of the biggest benefits I've received from cold plunging is mental health, right? Mental clarity. Um, cold plunge has all sorts of benefits as far as depression and anxiety. It helps you consciously control what is supposed to be a sympathetic or a fight or flight kind of response. And so we want to we want to make a good mental health zone. And so we thought we'd set up shop here underneath our, our uh, what do you call that, our awning. We've got lights under there. We'll kind of make it a cool zen area for our cold plunging. Julie, I found your hand trimmers. Now that you've already done all of the work, I found them in the backyard. <laughs> Sorry, well it looks good, you did a good job. We'll still trim up our grasses here. We can do that now or later, they're looking good still. Oh, you're making your tree into a witch's broom again, huh? Yeah, the kids always think it's funny that this becomes a witch's broom. You trim it back quite a bit, but it always seems to pull through and looks good. I'm just really happy with it. This is a phantom hydrangea and I planted it and I love this tree Hello. so much.
on the side when you're on the dress. Oh, yep, I knew it. So I know Landon is going to talk about the benefits of cold plunging like over on his Instagram. But my question to him was why would someone do this instead of just like fill a nice bath in their own house? Yeah, so this has a lot of fun advantages. First of all, it is ice free. So you don't have to go buy ice and fill it ice. And then it also cleans itself. So it's got a filter on the back. And so this pump will cool or heat actually. If you want to make this more of like a hot tub, you can do heat therapy with it as well. So it'll cool or heat and filter. So it's just like super hands off. While dad is all concerned about doing cold plunging, we're all over here heating up our fingers and marshmallows. Okay. Lucy, come over here. See how I'm spinning it right here on the handle? Just do that. Look how, look at my fingers and thumbs. Just rotate it like that, okay? Keep it right there. Emma, do you want to kick the tires and light the fires? So how often are you going to do this? Should I say we? I'll probably give we? it a try. Yes, yeah. absolutely. How often? Um, most days of the week, and usually if you're in there for about two to three minutes. Is Dad talking to you? Where's Daddy? Say Dad. Dad. This is his happy place for sure. He is so giddy about this. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Will oh, you so clean boring. up nice? Yeah, that was quick, huh? Lana came in and was like, can I just put cologne over my campfire smelling coat and go out to dinner with a bunch of professors and someone who came into town to discuss future things with Landon? And I was like, no, go change. Yeah, okay. Go change. I'm glad you're part of my life. This is like, you make me better. Anytime I go to school and everybody's like, Landon, you look nice. I'm like, it's Julie. <laughs> so this is what I am doing for dinner tonight. I'm taking our old tostada shells and an old bag of chips and I am, oh bless you, excuse you. And I'm going to make nachos with them. So I'm just going to dump them all out onto a pan. I have leftover pork that I'll put on there and a can of beans. What's this? Hot? Hot? Do you hear that? Hot. Hot. Yeah. And that is dinner. Nachos at its finest. Can you tell what side is the kids and what side is mom's? I'm trying to squeeze this line. So we've had this chilling for a couple hours now. It's ready to go, ready to jump in. There are a lot of benefits from cold therapy and we're not just crazy for jumping in here. So people who would use a cold tub would be people who are athletically active, right? So if you are trying to recover faster, it helps with your recovery time. Mental health issues, um, we have friends that do it from for depression and anxiety. Insomnia. Insomnia. It helps with your metabolism. It helps with so many things. So we want to share all the information about it. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. This would make an incredible Christmas cruise. I mean, they're, they're not cheap. They're not. They are expensive, but people who have these health conditions and want a consistent therapy yeah. would definitely benefit the from nice it. The nice thing about this is that it's not medications, right? These are things that you can do. We talk about exercise and diet all the time. Here's another tool in your tool belt that you can use to improve your health in your lifestyle, so. All right, Landon, enough chit-chatting. Enough chit-chatting. No, well, I'm like already shaking here. So one of the keys with this is controlling your breath, controlling your thoughts. Uh, that's part of, part of the mental health that comes through this, is that even though your body's in shock, you're trying to breathe fast, control your breath, control your emotions, despite the sympathetic that's going on. Oh, that's cold. Oh. Yeah. You 
ready? I've already told myself to just breathe normal. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna sit down. On yeah. The like, Do it. Not. Uh -uh. Yeah. Come on. No, I'm just gonna breathe out. Down. Breathe out. No. Nope. I can't. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, come on. <laughs> Just do it. Just even if for 30 seconds. I'll count with you. Don't put don't put your arms in. It's it's not bad if you don't put your arms in. I don't want to. Come on. You've had five kids. You're so tough. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. For the gram. For the vlog. What the heck? You're shriveling. I don't. I don't. Alright. So you're not gonna do it? No, I'm not going to. So sorry you guys. Maybe next time keep watching Landon's Instagram and maybe I will tomorrow. Goodbye.